Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about implementation of Pega Web Mashup. Let's get started into the topic. Before jumping into the implementation of Mashup, let's understand what is the need of Mashup. Suppose if you take some bank website, they are maintaining that website for many days and they want to introduce few cases uh, in Pega. In that case, they want to access directly from that website. Then they can't uh, keep a link and tell like, uh, can you please uh, click on this link and log in into Pega environment and uh, uh, create a case. So in this scenario, it would be like a repetitive process to the customer. So to overcome those process, whether it might be mobile application or a web application, if the client wants to use Pega cases or want to access Pega cases from their already existing website, so they want to embed actually Pega cases, then uh, this web mashup is a concept that is more useful. And uh, I will uh, give you a link in the description. In that link, you can uh, study more about it. So this is the link of this. This is Pega web mashup. You can see this and what are the options that we have while we are creating mashup also. You can go through this particular link let's get started into the technical implementation part so here as i have said earlier you can select any case so you got a requirement to provide a option to register so you configure the case as we do normally with the step stages process and whatever you want once you are done with this open this particular register case type and here in this uh, settings tab if you go scroll down you can find integration once you click on this integration, you can see here generate mashup code. Click on this and just click on uh, generate code. So this is the mashup code. Okay. Suppose uh, your particular application is now this is uh, our local host. So if your application is in higher environments, then you want to uh, give uh, directly production. Uh, mashup code then you if you have already already on it click on this change mashup url you can you can specify your own uh, url where your particular pega application is configured and you can change that and click on generate code again the mashup code will be there so you can copy this and you can use this is first way of uh, generating a mashup code second way is switch to app studio go to channels and here you can see right web mashup click on this uh, web mashup now you can give some name description and url and you have to enable this user's encryption now there are different actions provided by pega when uh, mashup code is created and when uh, we want to access a case this particular option is available only if you go through this app studio so there are different actions like create a case display a page get next work open an assignment so if you are uh, showing list of cases uh, that a particular user is having and you want to give an option just to show the case uh, then you can use this open an assignment or open a case by id and this is open case by handle and open a case by url you can select whatever you want so now i have selected create a new case you can select the case type i have selected a register this is a thread name this is very important why because uh, this particular thread name only will appear in your trace when you are uh, when you want to use some trace or something so this is different mashup load this is a return mashup state on browser refresh suppose if you want to pass some dynamic parameters to your mashup code like uh, username password then you can select this option and you can select which skin rule to apply for what this is for the case that user is viewing on the other website you can select whatever skin rule you want if you have specialized skin rule for your mashup for the look and feel you can select that as well this is iphone reef sizing whether it is an auto or a fixed one and this is how this particular case should look like what is the layout or what is the preview so there are different things if you want to preview you can just select here skeleton preview and you can see the skeleton over here 
in that way you can play around all these options okay once you are done with this click generate mashup code see this is iframe code this is mostly useful for mobile devices gadgets and this is web mashup code so you can copy this particular mashup code so in this way you can configure case and you can configure the action that you want to do when a case is uh, given to the user and in this way you can now uh, copy the mashup once you have copied the mashup code close this and click on save then uh, a particular mashup uh, rule will be created and you can see this is the mashup that uh, i have created if you want to delete this particular channel interface you can select this option otherwise you just uh, do some changes over here click save and uh, you can go back and the third step in mashup is go to your dev studio go to your application definition under security tab if you scroll down on content security for now i have given like uh, allow all the websites because this particular mashup is uh, accessed from third party website so there might be some security concern as i am doing a poc i have selected this based on your application security configuration you have to specify your policy name once you are done with this scroll down you can see mashup security so we have to list out all the urls that particular mashup code is hosted suppose you have hosted this in some bank like www.sgfcbank.com like that you have to give you have to specify all the website where this particular mashup code is used because there might be some security issues when the user clicks on uh, that particular case and when they try to access it then uh, pega will be showing like this particular uh, source of uh, request is uh, not a trusted one so to eradicate that problems or to bypass that problems we have been given with this option trusted origin you can select this okay for now i am not selecting any and you can click save okay so i have copied all the mashup code here what i will do is i will do a file save as where i have to save this your particular pega installed uh, folder you can see tomcat folder under tomcat if you scroll down you can see web apps under web apps if you scroll down you can see root so here you can save it as an html file hypertext markup language i'm giving it as registration once registration is given if you click save in that particular folder you can see registration right so once you try to open this it will show third party cookies must be enabled from mashup to function so to bypass this uh, particular thing you have to go to settings and you have to allow all the cookies I have taken all the mashup code and I have copied here. After that, I just given this HTML tag with H1, like welcome to Zima tag. And I have closed this HTML tag. And in this is the script. So this entire mashup code is generated uh, that we have copied. Once uh, this is uh, configured, I have saved it as uh, mashup.html in the same folder that I have shown you before. Now I have gone to Google Chrome. Here I have given localhost 8080 slash mashup.html. Then I am providing a mashup operator ID. I have created separate operator as mashup operator and I am giving that. Once I log in, you can see here registration case is invoked and a new case has been created. So this is the use of mashup. We did not uh, launch a Pega case. 
like uh, what we do here like uh, we would be launching some case worker portal and here we would be selecting like a new register right so in this way we did not create we i just uh, configured an html page and in that page i have configured the mashup code and i have accessed the html page and you can see a new case has been created if you submit the case the case will be submitted and all the process that is related to the case it would be processed and see here we can see case status also you can recheck this r9002 this are as should be see this is the case that we have created you can check clipboard px create operator is mashup operator so in this way you can uh, embed your particular case in any website that you need and uh, you might feel like why we need to enter credentials over here uh, that is not proper so for that i have a solution if you use this particular tag okay and you, if you pass your operator id and password in your mashup code so have a script like this you can copy this you paste it you can pass like this and here uh, in password it would be a better idea to pass a uh, hexadecimal value of your particular password for example uh, you can use this function b2a so if you have any queries like how you want to load uh, your mashup asynchronously or what are the functions you can use you can just refer this particular uh, url this url also i would be mentioning in the video description it would be also useful for you suppose you have a requirement like you have a button on click of that button then only you have to show the registration case in any website for that also you can write your own uh, java code or jsp code to invoke that and here i have just shown an example of an html page and in that html page i am including my mashup but a mashup can be included not only in html page it can be in a php or a c sharp dot net or some other uh, front end technology they are using this particular program mashup can be embedded in any front end technology and you can see here once we have created as 9002 i have launched this uh, particular dev studio and you can see the new registration case is 9003 so the registration process is as is and uh, we are not creating any new cases separately here and there so consistency and continuity is there we even though if we use mashup hope you have learned new concept of pega web mashup you please try this uh, particular method of passing username and password and comment your experience in this video thanks for watching this video please share like and comment your feedback and stay tuned to this channel